Hey, Lester, we got a pest control van. Good. Now we just need the knockout gas. I'm on it. All right, well, I'm glad I started that up as quickly as I did. I did not expect the phone call to come flying in that fast. Jeez. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto V. So this is what we're going to be doing. I really am kind of excited about a couple different things here. Uh, one, we have a heist set up over here. That's going to be pretty cool. Um... The other thing that we're going to be kind of fooling around with tonight, just because I have to know, I, I, I'm not sure what's going to happen when we go here, because the last time that I did something kind of off the books, I got a copyright strike for it, so hopefully going to talk to the shrink wouldn't be a thing that would cause my channel to, you know, burst into flame spontaneously, so let's really, uh, you know, hashtag prayers up for that one. So let's go check it out, at least. Um... I also picked a pretty poor time to start filming this particular iteration of this video because of the sheer fact that I really need to take a shit. <laughs> I'm not kidding. This was this was a bona fide mistake to start this right now, but I don't, you know, I don't really have a choice. Well, I don't, I, I have plenty of choices, but I decided that I was going to make this one the one, and that's what's going to go on. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go talk to the shrink just because I'm very intrigued as to like what's going to happen with that. Like I've actually I've never I've never uh, I've never gone to a shrink before, which is probably a good thing. I don't feel like you go to a shrink just for the sake of going to one. <laughs> I feel like the only reason that you would go to a shrink is if you know is if your life was basically bursting into flames around you and you felt like you were literally going insane and that, you know, that was that was kind of your one outlet. Um, here's the thing about shrinks, though. Like, is it, is it, like, for anybody that's actually gone to one, please, please respond to this. I'm, I'm curious. Is it the same, like, is the experience like it is in the movies, like how they portray it? Like, do you actually go in there and, like, lay on a couch with your feet up and they're sitting in the chair with their notepad and you know they ask you questions and you sit there and or you lay there and answer the questions and they give you the mm-hmm you know that's interesting you know kinda like is it is it really like that or are you just like kinda both casually sitting on you know across the table from one another and you know they're and they're doing it that way cuz I feel like in like every movie and TV show they've ever portrayed you know psychologists in it's always been, or not not psychologists, I'm sorry, psychiatrists. Uh, it's always been like the, oh, we're going to put you on the couch and we're going to have you lay down and get comfortable and I'm going to sit here with my, with my semi, you know, early male pattern baldness head and with my, uh, with my round Coke bottle glasses and I'm going to ask you questions and every time you answer I'm going to go, hmm, yes, that's interesting and I'm going to scribble something in the notepad and then, uh, you know, and then you always get done early. Because every time, you know, they go into a, somebody goes into a meeting for that, you always get done talking. You're like, oh, well, you know, you still got about 15 minutes left. Well, what else is going on in your life? Well, you know, the Phillies won. Oh, my God, we're going to have to set up another set of, uh, of things. So the shrink is just in one of these little houses off the side of the road, huh? That's not really how I envisioned this. I really would have figured it would have been, like, somewhere downtown in, like, a penthouse loft at the top of an office building. I didn't think it'd be one of these. Why do those windows look like there's blood splatter on them? That's totally what that looks like to me. Yeah, thanks, Doc. That's a crazy huge bust. Oh my god. Good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. <laughs> like, can you tell me why you're here at like one in the morning? Good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think. Right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? <laughs> well, you know, I've been killing people Not lately. Good, Doc. Not good at all. I smoked weed. To hear that. Went insane. I just I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know, ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. <laughs> He's I like, oh stuff. really? I even got a new one too. This kid. This, I don't know. He has similar proclivities. 
Now everything's out of control. I mean, and if it's not by choice, you know, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. <laughs> you know, the whole killing people thing. That's kind of a small problem. Urges, friend? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. You yeah, I ran over a cat yesterday. I mean, the whole thing's coming unraveled. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. Um, you know, let's let's take them. Why not? I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behavior? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. <laughs> and by that I mean my wife is totally rejecting me 100% of the way, no matter what I do. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm also addicted I'm to laced weed. Myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's like, well, like, well maybe a couple of them. Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules. Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. Like, half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Like, man, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this... I think... No, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. It was like f <laughs> it was like five minutes. How much money did I pay that man for five minutes? Bulk buying sessions. What a what a country crock. He's like, I'm on the verge of a breakthrough, but hey, you want to have that breakthrough? You wait until next time. What a what a time for denial. By the way, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna take that away from me. Okay, a courier is delivering a gas shipment. But do we need that, though? Maybe, oh, we actually, we probably do. Okay, so... I guess we're gonna be heading up here. Let's go check it out, because uh, I can feel that, uh, you know, the rumbling and bumbling and stumbling inside of my Bartolo Cologne right now. I mean, it, it, went, it went literally from the lobby down to B1, so... I think uh, our time is turning into a very valuable commodity, and uh, the longer that we play around with that, the value is going to drop severely. <laughs> so let's uh, let's jump in our let's uh, bitch get in my car, and we'll we'll head out to uh, go see what this other heist setup is all about. I would assume it probably has something to do with uh, you know acquiring some uh, you know liquid fuel, or perhaps a sedative. Was that a guy hanging off of that? Hold on a minute. I have to know. Was that what I thought I just saw? Is that a guy just head dangling off of that? Oh my god. This guy is just... <laughs> what happened? Can I, like, save this dude? Or do I have to, like, put him out of his misery? Or is that even a real person? Something tells me. Okay, you know, we're just gonna... Hello there, traveler. Seriously? I mean... Okay, so that person is not real. That's a decoration. You mean to tell me that the people of this fine city are sick enough in the head that they would make that into a decoration? A person that was supposedly working on that billboard that, like, you know, is now seemingly about ready to plummet to their death in the middle of the Del Perro freeway. You mean to tell me that that is a joke? 
It's actually fantastic. <laughs> that is that is amazing. But totally fucked up. Like, imagine all of the people that are, like, here as visitors. And they're going to see them like, oh, my God, there's someone that's going to die. Like, they're going to have the same response to that that I had, where they, you know, pull a Yui going the wrong way in oncoming traffic, and they're going to get everyone killed. That was that was ridiculous. Totally fantastic. Like that is an that is a that is a pure stroke of brilliance as far as creativity is concerned. That is a great way to absolutely you know stick your uh, your phallic instrument into the into the ear holes of the public. But good lord above. Okay. Well, hey, our driving went up to sixty out of a hundo. That is good to know. Glad to know that we can uh, that we can do what we have to do in order to become the best driver. I want to be the very best that no one ever was. To travel the streets is my real test. To not die is my cause. But in you. Okay. <laughs> I will travel across the land. Searching far and wide. Okay, we need to... Hold on a minute. We need to steal the, the humane van? Where the hell is it going? I didn't even realize that we were like en route to that. Where is it going? Shoot open the doors or destroy the... V okay. Well, how in the hell am I going to do that? I have an idea. I have the perfect plan. Big go... Oh, no, it's this one. Okay. So we need... Is he... Is he, gonna, is he actually going to stop? Oh, my God, he's going to stop. That is amazing. Well... Excuse me, fine sir. I need to uh, acquire your vehicle for my own selfish purposes, and, uh, well, I... Okay, well, time to go. <laughs> time to go. This is goodbye, she said. -na 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 -na. Live like this and kiss the cheek. I can't kiss you anymore. I don't know why this song has to be in my head right now for this. <laughs> I do love me some cartel, though, I, I must say. I listened to some of that yesterday while I was driving around. And, uh, hmm, good, good stuff, man, good stuff. At least, like, they're older, they're older stuff. I never, I didn't really listen to them very much after the Chroma album, but very, very good, though. Very good. It's very catchy music. I think that's the best way to put it. We're about to have a run-in with the old uh, Johnny Law here. But, hey, I dare you. I dare you to try it. I say we let the boy try it. Yeah, I know that you located me. All right, I'm fully aware. I'm taking you for a ride. You know, we're we're gonna go, we're gonna go have a nice little jaunt about town, and you know, we're gonna we're gonna paint the town red, particularly with the blood of our enemies, and you know, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna totally be fine. This, however, has now turned into a problem. Of course, I would go into a place that's heavily patrolled by police officers and things of the like, but hey, you're gonna get one. Oh no! Oh god. Oh god. No. Come on. Around you go. Around you go. It was a bad idea. It was bad. <laughs> it's just beer. It's just beer. He's a, he's a freak. <laughs> he's the fastest kid alive. Okay. This is bad. This is, this is not particularly... Oh, dude. Come on. Do they have visual? I guess we're going to find out real quick whether they have visual or not. Something tells me both of these guys are totally going to find me. How? I don't know. There shouldn't be any feasible way that they would know that I'm down here. Yeah, you keep going. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, they're all right there. They're all right here. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to have to back out of this. I just know that this is a horrible idea. Oh my god. How how did I pull that off? <laughs> there were four cops right there. Oh my god. Oh man, those guys are really quick to throw in the towel. It has all come together. Where the hell did he go? I mean, there's like at least about seven places he could hide right here on this block, but... Well, I mean, fucking man, I, it, it is, it is, you know... It is boneless wing Thursday right now. Let's let's at least go hit B dubs before the before the special goes off. I've been needing to try their new ciders. Damn it! All right, well this is good. This is very good. I'm glad that we got this. And you know we took the humane approach. 
we, uh, you know, not only are we stealing a humane van, but we also took the humane approach, and we did not murder anybody, even though I tried multiple times. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think that we can all we can all go on with our lives. We can live, uh, you know, happy existences on the, in the same city without anybody getting hurt, except for the people that have to. And it doesn't have to be the cops, unless they want to. You know, if they're... If they if they are the type that enjoys indulging in their own pain, then you know that's the way they want to live their life. I'm not going to tell them not to do it. If it brings them, if it brings them marginal joy and and in, uh, you know joy and happiness, who am I to tell them not to live such a life? All right, Lester the molester. I'd love to tell you that I have uh, four bullet holes. Uh, yeah. Could you also compensate me? For well, never mind. <laughs> Okay, apparently, apparently, he is very, he's got some crazy, like, Marvel superhero right healing powers. Here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized, we don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. It's not going to be an issue because everything's going to go just fine. The um, the uh, alarm system is easy now. If I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself, no problem. But uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael. He makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep. No problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. <laughs> yes, do we all have to wear these really huge Bluetooth headsets? You know what's really creepy, by the way? I hope you can manage the truck with the bikes. Eddie, Norm, you got the van. See you on a little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. By the way, you know what's ultra creepy? Well, it's actually, it wouldn't be ultra creepy for you guys, but for me, Lester looks totally like an older version of a guy that I know. He, uh, like, he doesn't look, like, in the face, he doesn't look as much like him. Like, he, um, well, actually, you know, in the face, that's actually I, really where he does. His name's Jason, and the ironic thing is that he's a cop. But he totally reminds me of Lester. He's got similar facial features, just the fact that he's, you know, not nearly as old and he doesn't dress like he's you know about ready to go to the bingo hall for about six hours but totally totally has the same look about him can i not save my progress right now oh here we go come on no i can't i'm actually totally oh no here we go i cannot save right now okay well this is what we're gonna do guys we are gonna stop right here for when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto V, what we are going to do is we're going to go pull the heist and see how well it goes. I'm, I've got my fingers and my toes crossed because this is going to be so awesome. But until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Take it easy, everybody. Bye. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.